Postmodern is a post-production facility located in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. We do mostly editing offline and online on Avid and Final Cut, and we also rent uh, cameras. What I can say about Autoblix is that uh, it's based on talent. It's based on people committed to their work. It's based on uh, passion. Uh, and what we supply to clients is creative ideas. We like to do a lot of design, web, motion graphics, uh, online editing, uh, color correction. Uh, we, we pretty much do everything you can think of. When people come in, sometimes they come here just for the offline editing, and then they don't know we do grading or we do some compositing and effects. We're doing 3D... Uh, we pretty much do yeah. everything from start to finish. In Montreal, the post-production, I think it's a bit different. We have a tighter budget because the TV shows goes, let's say, to 7 million people, not to 25 or 265. So we have to work on tighter budgets, but we have to be creative. Yes, people still want the, the, the same quality, but they want it for less. <laughs> the quality needs to be as high as in other countries with a bigger audience. In Montreal, it's like everybody's like full of talent and there's lots of cool stuff happening, but you have to compete with that and you have to be faster and better. And yeah. There's a lot of uh, uh, local production that they, they have really, really small budgets for it. And, and for us, that's tough. The problem is sometimes we, we lose a little bit of money because it's, it's, it's going slower, so we need to take more time on a project. So in a way, you know, like ac accelerating our work, um, working quicker would be a great, uh, great thing. Last year, maybe five post-production houses closed in Montreal. So if we want to survive and work, continue to work and deliver, I think we need to go most toward the finishing and the online. Here at Postmodern, we're beta testing a smoke on Mac. Uh, we're really uh, impressed. We're beta testing smoke, so uh, what we're trying to do is uh, have it as a machine that would be in the center of our operations. I think editorial finishing describes uh, well what Smoke on Mac does. The process is really seamless. You edit your offline in Final Cut, you send an XML, you import it in Smoke, you relink to the medias, and then bam. We can do editing on, on Smoke, we can do color, we can do special effects. So if, if you want to start a, a project from A to Z, to Z with the Smoke, you can. Since all the tools that I need are in Smoke, well, I don't lose my time exiting smoke to do something else. Everything's in smoke. It doesn't interfere in the workflow working with Avid or Final Cut and the other softwares, but it's like a funnel where everything merges together to get the final product. And there's always a prestige that comes with working on smoke. Just saying like, oh, I'm doing, I'm gonna do your key in smoke. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> they don't want me to. Yeah, yeah, big guns. Well, people that work in post-production are used to the name Smoke. When you tell them you have a smoke, they know you're going to deliver and that you're serious. That's a thing that's really important about the name Smoke. The gens qui sont dans le domaine de nous connaissent très bien la machine, qu'est-ce qu'elle peut faire. Ça attire des gens. Des gens, ils entendent parler de ça, puis il y a des gens qui disent, ah, ok, t'as un smoke, je vais venir chez vous monter. It's giving us the opportunity to get more clients in. Being able to buy smoke for a Macintosh and at a price that's reasonable for us would be a good idea. Since we have more and more clients coming in and since we're growing, uh, we're kind of in a situation where the company is growing really fast, we need some tools to be more efficient. If you want to make your way in the business, what you do needs to be, look great and to be great. Smoke was the missing link to our facility. It's really, uh, it's the tool we needed.